For safety purposes, I was required to take an extensive training course before entering this controversial area. Viewer discretion advised. <laughs> actually, I'm just kidding. It's actually pretty easy to get in here, and there's generally no problem. Feel free to try it out sometime. Hey, Geography peeps. So I am stuck here at the Istanbul International Airport on a seven hour layover from midnight to 7 a.m. I'm not gonna get any sleep. I was gonna film this in my studio, but I'm like, hey, I'm here. Why not just get it over with? So today's topic. So in this world, there are countries. And then every so often you come across a place that's like a, eh, on the country spectrum. Now there are many of these strange administrative anomalies that exist across the world. We've mentioned them many times on the channel. I've gone to some of them. And sometimes these these confusing places are so strange that in order to get in, you have to hitchhike with some random ass Russian dude with your best Danish friend while smuggling in a drone and not being able to purchase anything because of a complicated financial system, so you have to starve. Welcome to Transnistria. Let's go! So, what is Transnistria, you ask? Well, that's a complicated answer for a complicated place. Since 1990, it has been a self-proclaimed independent republic with Russian tutelage, aka protection. Yet it is de jure considered part of Moldova by most of the international community. Basically, the country of Moldova today used to be a republic within the USSR. But this specific place, Transnistria, had a lot of Russians. So after the collapse of the USSR in the 90s, and Moldova got its independence, this small sliver of land across the Dniester River was like, eh, we don't want to be absorbed into Moldova. There was a war, yada yada yada, it ended up in a tripartite commission that also created a demilitarized zone. To this day, Transnistria has no international recognition, the only people that recognize it are other breakaway republic states like Abkhazia and South Ossetia. It's a very interesting place administratively and very few people go there, especially during the worst time of the year, winter which is what I did. For this trip, I would be accompanied by my favorite Dane, Gus from Gus on the Go. He's one of my best friends. We've been planning this trip for a long time and Gus is kind of like my go-to for any kind of intense travel. And since Transnistria has no airport and only one train line that's accessible to Odessa, Ukraine, the only way people can get in is via road from Moldova. However, flights to Moldova are typically very expensive because you know, Moldova is not exactly a regional hub. So this trip would start in Romania with a rental car. Cue to the travel montage. So I made it to Romania and what's the first thing I see? What the f is a milk burger? So uh, the place I rented the car is not located at the airport. I have to walk about two miles away from the airport in some slushy ass road that's flooded up and uh, my shoes are getting wet. Okay, all right, this is okay. This is this is how it's gonna be, okay. What the, f how do I get it? It's right next to the f highway. I could get hit by a car, there's the rental car place. Yeah, later on I found out they had a shuttle service and the rental car people were very nice to me. Uh, but guys, this is the coolest car rental guy ever. What's your name? Thank you, Dragomir Robert. Dragomir Robert. If you come to Romania, go to this guy. He hooks you up. He's the best. So we met up with my friends Adrian and Yasin, who lived in Bucharest. They treated us to Palinka and Mitch. It was great. Thank you, Yasin, for hosting us. And the next day, we were on the road to Moldova. See, some people, when they go on vacation, they like to go to the beaches or, you know, uh, tropical, nice, warm places. I like to go to semi-autonomous breakaway regions of the world. Yep. All right, so uh, Gus and I just raided a grocery store. We've got a ton of food. I saw it at the airport. What is a milk burger? It looks like two pancakes with cream inside. Try some. All right. It's my first ever milk burger. It passes my test. So we're at the border with Moldova and uh, we're picking up a hitchhiker. Alex! Alex! Alex. Alex. <laughs> what a guy. And we're crossing into Moldova. Look so at his passport now, I guess. Yeah, he, he's legit Moldovan. We are at the border.
This is when I realized I made a big mistake. See, in order to drive into Moldova, you need to pay an extra tax for a permit to enter Moldova. Also, you have to pay a vignetta. So we had to drive all the way back to the car rental place, redo the paperwork, and then drive back, effectively wasting six extra hours. So we left Alex at the border, and he hitchhiked with somebody else, because we were useless. So uh, about three hours later, we got back to Bucharest, and uh, I finally got the permit to go to Moldova. Now we can go. We wasted so much time. Let's go. <laughs> we gotta go, Gus. Kind of yeah, I'll, I'll admit it. I, let's be honest. This was all my fault. I agree. <laughs> I agree. This was all my fault. All because I wanted to save $40. All right, we made it to the border. All right, how do you feel, Gussy boy? We are so close now. Like, this cannot go wrong. Let's do this. Moldova, come on. It took what, Gus? Like 20 hours or something? Finally. <laughs> Uh, it's Sunday night, everything's closed, we're drinking, it's while the most walking. Night, but we're, <laughs> Moldova! <laughs> we're in Moldova! God, there's a, there's a statue! There's a Moldova! There's a statue! There's a Moldovan statue! I don't know, those two mafia guys we talked to, they said we have to go down this way. I just wanna have one friendly conversation. Now. Everybody hates us and we're such losers. <laughs> I love the Moldovan people. They we just are. don't want to talk. They don't think we're cool. <laughs> free ice skating. There's free ice skating in Moldova. All right, so we made it to Moldova, and then we had to drive, and then we almost crashed the car, and then we had problems at the border, but we made it. Moldova, the capital, Kishinya. So Moldova is kind of like Romania's little brother. The only difference is that this place actually used to be a socialist Soviet republic under the USSR. It's like a very Eastern European-influenced Latin country. It's like the opposite of Poland, but it's really cool, good food, good people, and you can see cool things like the Victory Arch, Orthodox cathedrals, the present presidential palace, the national opera. Uh, just uh, maybe don't come during the winter time like we did. And of course, you cannot have Moldova without Moldovan wine. You'll see this brand everywhere, Krikova. Wine with Moldova is like Russians with vodka. We're getting coffee and it is super cheap. It's like 60 cents. Cheers, Gussie boy. Cheers, oh, Moldova. So Gus, you're from Denmark. You can handle the cold, right? Absolutely. So you'll wear gloves, but you won't wear a hat. Why? <laughs> Always my hands are cold. Just nothing your, else, only the hands. Your head is never cold? Nah. Dang, fine, okay, yeah, you really are a Viking. Moldova and Kishinya is a place with lots of charm, lots of cool things going on, but we're not actually here for Moldova. Believe it or not, we're here for something else. Okay, maybe I should have worded that a little differently because Moldova considers Transnistria part of their country. But the point is we were going to Transnistria. And of course you can't have Moldova without that quirky post-Soviet charm. Oh, curtains. it's one of those ugly Yugo cars. Oh. Ah, with curtains! Pipelines. <laughs> As always. Precariously positioned above the uh, road with a power plant, yeah. Look, look how close the ice is to the road. They don't care. You just slip into a tree and die. Damn! So guys, check it. This is the bridge. Yeah. And, uh, this is the Nistor River. Transnistria means trans across the Nistor River. Transnistria. And uh, we are about to enter a very unique place. We're, we're excited. We're excited. Are we guys? Are we guys? We're <laughs> hyped. We're hyped. Show the river. Look, 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 look. There's the river. That's Woo! the Nistor River. So far, so good. So we far, just so passed good. some Russian guys in a Russian tank. There's a lady walking into the... Uh, well, check her out. She's like walking in with no problem. I don't know what's going on. Let's see what happens. Let's figure this oh. out. Remember, Gus. Remember, we parked right at the Volga tombstone. Rest in peace. Volga. Rest in peace, Volga. I don't know why <laughs> they put a tombstone right here at the border at a parking lot. Our car was not allowed inside Transnistria, so we had to walk. It counts. It counts. I guess. It kind of sucks, but it counts. Well, we are officially in Transnistria. Spasibo za, what does it say? Transistria, everything's in Russian now. We couldn't drive the car in, so we hitchhiked with our new friend Alexander. Alexander. <laughs> He's helping us. He's we just hitchhiked with him. Spasiba. <laughs> 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 Which is <laughs> Alexander. Got a show. Okay, let's go. Transnistria. Tiraspol. It says right there, Tiraspol. There you go. Gus, how do you Cyrillic feel? Language. How do you feel? Unreal. We're, what we're a place. Le we're legit here. In a country that doesn't exist. <laughs> or it's a place that claims it exists, but uh, it's complicated. It's not on the map though. <laughs> yeah. And of course, uh, they got the Catherine the Great statue. So we're at this cafe. Um, 
they don't accept Visa or MasterCard or anything because uh, the whole situation that happened with their connections with Russia. So um, we're gonna have to starve. Like us? Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> I have some, used to. I, I have some Moldovan uh, money. Maybe I can exchange it at bank, but um, until then, we're screwed. Completely. I'm here with Dima, my one contact for Transnistria. Dima, how are you? <laughs> oh, I'm fine, thank you. I'm born in Transnistria. Mm -hmm. My parents from Belarus. What is what is this? It's a great monument, uh, Suvorov. It's a Russian uh, fighter. Should people come to Transnistria? I think <laughs> no. No? <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is usual place. Uh, <laughs> I th I think maybe. Uh, you see another uh, yeah. th this place. I am from here, and uh, for me this is usual place. Most people here speak Russian, right? Right. Uh, but uh, Transnistria have three official language. It's Russian, Ukraine, and uh, Moldovan. And Moldovan. For me, yeah. you are first tourist from uh, USA. Oh me, I'm yeah. first USA tourist. Did you see Denmark before? <laughs> De uh, Denmark. Uh, no, 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 no. First Denmark. <laughs> first Danish guy, yeah. We are officially the first Danish and American tourist he's ever seen. <laughs> so, Dima, you have Transistria passport? Yeah, yes. Do what? You travel with that? Where can you travel with Transistria passport? Uh, only in Moldova. Only Moldova. How do you visit other countries? Uh, I have a passport of Moldova. Oh, Mold oh, you have both Moldova and Transnistria. Yes, yes. Ah, okay, okay. Electric car? <laughs> Electric <laughs> bus. <laughs> it feels like a country, right? <laughs> yes, not really, but uh, I feel... Feels like it, yes. yeah. Has its own money, Mold flag. Law. Yeah. law, it has its own law. So no visa, no MasterCard, only... What What credit card? Uh, rain, ra rainbow card. Rainbow card. <laughs> Some guy honked at us. <laughs> this okay. is the rainbow okay. card. Rainbow card. This is the rainbow card. They don't use Visa or MasterCard. They use this. Wow, Transnistrian money. So in the end, Dima decided to help us out. Since we couldn't use our money, he treated us to dinner and helped us find a taxi back to the border. Again, a huge thank you to Dima. So we're taking a taxi back to the border. What is it like being in Transnistria? Well, it's weird because it's uh, it's a place that's kind of a breakaway area, but they consider themselves country a country, but on paper, it really depends on who you talk to. Um, a lot of people said we were the first tourists they've ever seen. Uh, specifically for me, I was the first American tourist. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> Biggest takeaways, make sure you have your finances in check. They don't take MasterCard or Visa. They have their own m money system. Uh, Gus, what did you think of it? It was amazing, especially with this guy. <laughs> and Dima. And Dima. Dima. Dima was the MVP. Seriously, Dima, thank you Dima so much. Awesome. Yeah, everybody that saw us, they're like, why are you here? <laughs> Why are you visiting this area like nobody comes and visits? I mean, from what we've seen though, it's not bad. It's it's okay. It's it's very clean. Very clean. I, I'd say, you know, if you have the chance to experience it, why not? Check out a place that's administratively confusing. <laughs> so yeah, that was Transnistria. Interesting, right? I mean, we had to hitchhike and everything. But for what it's worth, I'm glad I got to go. And Gus, man, you're awesome. So glad you got to come with me. Now, if you guys will excuse me, I'm gonna be stuck at the Istanbul airport for another six and a half hours. Life is crazy. Crazy like an unrecognized territorial anomaly. Hope you guys have a good one. Cheers, stay cool, stay tuned.